Well, this video was made for my daughter Katrina. As you can see, Mama, I got home from school. I have school on Thursday nights, Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. So I'm still in my scrubs. Give me a minute. Sorry about that, Mama. I'm having trouble with my internet. Um, I mean, I have internet, but um, it's like I gotta plug it, unplug it, and plug it in every once in a while. I'm not sure if it's the router or the modem or what, but I'm gonna have to get with Tom Warner on that and let them know what's going on because I could be watching a movie or trying to get online and, and uh, look up stuff for school and all of a sudden it says I'm not connected so I hate that stuff and right now it says I'm connecting let me see my phone see my phone but it's not showing this is ridiculous and I have it in there we just, I just made the payment so, Katrina, this video is for you, Mama. Um, told you I'll make you a, a video every Friday. Post it on YouTube just to let you know that I miss you very much. And I love you very much. And I have a text message. Nobody important having to do with school, uh, study group. Uh, friends just reminding me not to forget about study group on Sundays. So I study on Sundays. Um, but going back to you and me, Mama, I miss you very much. Just as, uh, like I told you last week. And that's never going to change. Um, don't tell your mom but I threw away pretty much all the pictures that you, me and your mom ever took because when you guys left me it hurt me to see those pictures and to have them here as a reminder of how happy we used to be but I kept one picture and your grandma kept one picture so we have two pictures but they're of you now your grandma kept this one because this is the picture or this is pretty much how when you came into our life you're about this age you were so and are so cute and pretty I remember how long your hair used to be and then you cut it but you know look at daddy I used to have long hair too and I look at me I'm bald so you have my permission to shave your head if you want to so you can be like me just kidding, I know you're not going to shave your head, but uh, you were so adorable when I first met you, so shy, quiet, um, didn't know how to talk to me, um, but I remember seeing you for the first time, like if it was just yesterday, mama, <laughs> now the other picture 
I have, or the picture that I have, I guess I'm never going to throw this away. This picture, I carry a few pictures in my wallet. Let me show you. I carry a picture of me. That's me. That's daddy when he was a, a little boy like um, Fabian's age. Right about the time when I met you guys. So that's me. That's your dad as a little boy. The other picture I carry. Let me just. That's Eddie. That's your brother when he was a little boy now the other two pictures that I carry in my wallet are of people that I love that I don't see anymore one is your grandpa which is my dad of course you know my dad passed away and uh, I miss him. And the other one is the person that I don't see anymore is you. I don't have pictures of your mom. Not that I don't care, but she left me, right? But, uh, you, Katrina, you're my daughter, you're my Miha, and I love you very much. No matter how hard I try not to cry, when I see you, I miss you. And when one person misses another person very much, the way I miss you, it hurts right here. So I, I cry. Your dad, me, I'm a very, very emotional person. What that means is that when I'm sad, you can see I'm sad. When I'm happy, you can see I'm happy. When I'm mad, you can see I'm mad. That's what being emotional is. You, people can see what you are feeling inside from the expressions that are on the outside. So I'm sorry if uh, you think daddies are not supposed to cry. Well, certain things, cer certain circumstances, certain situations, certain some things can hurt a daddy no matter how big and strong he is a daddy can cry in certain when certain things happen i don't care if your mom does not like what i'm about to say this is for you maybe you're too little to understand but one day you're gonna have questions and I will always be honest with you I messed up with your mom I made a big mistake a long time ago and I did your mom wrong. At the same time, your dad, me, I I flirt a lot. Okay, flirting means when another girl would talk with me, I would show interest in that, and I would talk back to her in a way that I shouldn't because I was with your mom and your mom got tired of it okay your mom didn't like it when I did that but that was my fault okay and I took it too far 
Well, when it came to a point where I thought that I was doing wrong and I should behave and be a good husband to your to your mom, it was too late. And, well, she kicked me out the house. You remember it was uh, Father's Day or the day before Father's Day. And I knew that the time for playing is over. Let me that every time I'm trying to do something serious, these guys, right? The time to stop flirting is over. And the, the time to be a good husband and a good dad was now or was then. Time for me to be serious. But it was too late. Your mom had had enough. So, I have made mistakes and I'm not proud of them. And by the time I realized that I'm 40 years old and I want my family and to make it, it was too late. So, your mom was, I thought, generous enough to give me a final chance to prove I could be a good husband and a good daddy. I think she would agree with me on this that no matter what problems your mom and I had I was always a good daddy to you. Uh, I never ever treated you like you were not my daughter because you, you were and you are still. I was always good to you. I was always thinking about you. Every time we went to the store, I would never leave the store without doing my best to take something for you, let you know that we, were thought, we, we thought of you or I thought of you, always taking you your hot Cheetos uh, and your favorite drink, uh, root beer. Uh, I would always never, pretty much never left the store without your snacks. I was always thinking of you. So your mom would, ag would agree that I was a good dad, at least good. I don't want to say I was the bestest or the greatest, but I was a good dad to you. Your mom left me. I wanted to work things out, make things right, so I went to school and I was working at the same time and your mom met someone behind my back. Supposedly her friend Ruth, Ruby, Ruth something like that introduced your mom to this guy so your mom's friend is pretty much I'm never going to talk to her again I don't, I don't care what happens happens right uh, it's not like I'll ever see her again anyways her and her wannabe gangster boyfriend whatever his name was Vance Chance one of those preppy names uh, what was this freaking name? I don't care. So anyways, I was thinking everything was fine. And, uh, we weren't in the best place. We didn't have our own place. We had our own place and we could have made it work over there on uh, the Converse side. I forgot what, what the street was. Maybe it just hurts too much to remember. I was happy we got that house. Uh, then I, not even a week or two later, I was kicked out of that house.
sold my drums so your mom wouldn't lose the car and she lost the car I don't know what she's gonna say I don't know if she's gonna let you see the rest of this video she can be mad at me all she wants but this is what happened I'm not blaming her I'm pretty much blaming myself but she also had a take in this a hand in this situation it's hard for me to go on sometimes because I miss you Katrina I don't want you to think that I don't love your mom anymore because that's not true your mom and I were together for seven going on eight years and she has a special place in my heart we got married for a reason we loved each other that one time your mom told me straight up before she left me that the love for me that she had was gone was no more it wasn't there that was her words it wasn't there anymore I let your mom go because why should I hold on to someone who didn't love me and it wasn't there I could have fought for her why fight 40 years old I'm, I'm too mature for fighting she had whatever his name Robert Roger uh, I don't know. in here in my home getting her stuff while I was at work so your mom wanted to leave me without saying goodbye and not see me it wasn't until y'all had to come back to get your keyboard and some little stuff that you left behind that I was able to give her a hug she left like nothing she left she left me to build a new life a new future with that guy Roger um, and for a minute there I was certain I was sure or I felt that I would never hear from you or her again and for you guys and your mom has the audacity to call me while I'm at school to tell me he got deported I thought I could be a friend to your mom and be there for her it's time for me to go work out see work out I have a uh, membership with Planet Fitness and I try to work out as much as I can to lose weight to look good and be more healthy just telling these guys okay Okay, okay. 
So she cried when he got deported with me on the phone. How is that supposed to make me feel like I don't care? I don't care about that guy. I don't care about Roger. Who cares? That's why he should have done it legally and got his freaking green card. But that's another story. My main focus is to tell you why we're in this situation. I tried very hard this last time to make make it work, make it right, treat your mom like a queen, and I did. And she could be watching this with you and say, no, no, but that's not true because I did. While you were here with me this, that last couple of months here in this apartment, I massaged your mom's feet. I cooked for your mom. I cleaned for your mom. I worked. I went to school. I, I had a lot on my plate, but I still found time to show your mom attention. I still found time to make your mom her favorite burger. That was the last thing I cooked for your mom before you guys left me. We sat in this living room watching that movie about the horses, about the girls on the horse. Can't remember the name of it, but it was about a little girl who didn't know who her dad was. And at the end, she told her mom that she never ever wanted a different dad, ever. And you turned to your mom and said, yeah, I don't ever ever want a different dad. And your mom said she would never, you would never even have a different dad. I guess what she meant was you were always going to have me as your dad but she was going to marry someone else because at that time she was to, she was talking to this guy Roger she was already talking to Roger when we watched that movie so Katrina I hate your mom At the same time, I love your mom. So, I'm kind of like this. I'm split. My heart hurts. She left me when she was supposed to be helping me in school and rebuilding a life together. I was looking forward to becoming a nurse with my wife in the same field having a good life and I was crushed in one move your mom left me and not even a month passed and she filed for divorce. Not even a month, maybe less than a month. And to top it off, Mama, you see your mom's name on my finger? That's how much I care, because I could easily easily go get it covered up your mom just like I was nothing <laughs> your mom covered it up covered my name up up from her finger like Like that.
And I know you're still young. I know you don't understand what's going on. But this is my record, my testament to you. My explanation of what and why this is going on. I don't know what kind of agenda your mom has. I don't know what kind of plan your mom has. But I've been alone since you guys left me. Your mom had somebody. Mom has somebody. I want to be happy. I just don't know what to do. I'm just going to graduate school. Concentrate on getting healthier. Losing some weight. I have a nice little car. My bank is... Uh, being very helpful with daddy they might even give me a credit card because I've been doing so well with my account and you might be too young to know this your mom's probably watching but who cares I have upgraded you know they gave me a second chance account now I'm at a regular account I'm moving up with my bank and so I think that's why they offered me a student credit card because I'm going to school as well. So I don't know if I'm approved or not, but they offered it, right? So, but we'll see. Excuse me. It's my heart burning tea. How can I be a dad to you when you're not even near me how can I show you how much I love you when you're not even in the same country I miss my little princess grandma misses her little Nina your tia beautiful misses her little monsterina we all miss you it's not just me you are family more than your mom is. You might be a Lichtenstein, but in all of our hearts, you are Gonzalez. And you should be proud. We are a good family. We are a strong family. We've been through hell and back. We've been through the double, the H-E double hockey sticks and back. In other words, Mama, we, ne we, didn't, we didn't always have a roof over our head. We slept in parks. We ate bologna every day. Bologna and bread, bologna and bread. That brought us together. That made us stronger. Now, I do hope that you never have to go through that. And that's, I guess, one reason why your mom decided to take you away from me. Because she thought that a guy with his own taco stand, a guy with his own house in Mexico, was better than you staying in this nice little apartment, even though it wasn't ours. But it was cozy, and it was temporary. In other words, we weren't going to be here for too long. As soon as I graduated school... We could have started looking for our own place even before then. But I guess your mom was manipulated. In other words, she was tricked. And I don't care who's watching this. You want to find me? Come and find me. I ain't scared of you. I'm only crying because I miss my daughter. And if you, Roger, want to make a big deal out of it, come and get me in San Antonio, fool. I ain't afraid of you. But that fool told your mom some stuff and she fell for it, I guess.
when your mom left me, she took my heart because your mom was my heart. When your mom left me and took you, not only was my heart gone, but my joy, my happiness, you were gone too. You were my joy. You were my happiness. And yes, Mama, I have Eddie. Eddie's my son. But like I told you last week, the love a father has for his son is way different than the love a father has for his daughter. It's more like a precious love. It's more... <laughs> the daddy's little girl love compared to the daddy's son love, you know. So, I think about you a lot. I look at your picture a lot. I go to your mom's Facebook and I look at the picture of you sitting next to the pool and I see how grown up you are compared to these little pictures that I have of you of you being little but there's that one commercial where the dad is telling his daughter like Well, well, Katrina, um, I was making a video for you yesterday, and the camera turned off, so I'm continuing this video. I could have posted the other one, but it just cut off in the middle of what I was saying, so I don't know what I was saying. I don't remember. Um, I had just gotten off of school and telling you what was going on and I have no idea what I was talking about when the camera cut off so I had to actually put the battery to charge and today is Friday now and I told you I would post a video every Friday but today I had lots of things to do I was very busy I've been gone since the morning and I just got back home about 9, 9.30 had something to eat which is late but you know what can I do I, I have things I have to do so I'm gonna just continue by saying I miss you and I love you and I look at your picture which I have right there remember this one this one I look at it every day and I miss you so much mama so I'm going to try to do something. I've never sang this song before. It's called Daddy's Home. And even though I'm not there with you, as long as you have me in my heart, in your heart, I have you in my heart. And wherever you are, I'm there with you. the girl of my dreams and I'd like to thank you for waiting patiently daddy's home daddy's home to stay How I've waited for this moment To be by your side Your best friend wrote and told me You had teardrops in your eyes Daddy's home Daddy's home To stay